It does not surprise me that when I do a search for kanji is, the first result is kanji is hard. As a community, we have made jokes about it, we have whined about it, and we have showed that even native Japanese speakers find it difficult to remember. However, as a part of a series on my channel, I would like to show you how kanji does not have to be difficult to read. I will show you techniques to overcome this barrier and will help you learn to read kanji. As a side note, this tutorial requires that you can read hiragana and katakana characters. Hello, I'm Tara Niko, and today I will discuss furigana. Furigana is a Japanese reading aid consisting of smaller kana or syllabic characters printed next to or above the kanji character to indicate its pronunciation. Furigana, also known as yomigana, yomi as in read, gana as in the Japanese syllabaries, Furigana can be written in hiragana or katakana depending on the onyomi or kunyomi reading of a kanji. Kunyomi is the Japanese reading of a kanji and is written in hiragana. Onyomi is the Chinese sound based reading and is written in katakana. When Japanese is written horizontally, furigana will be placed above the kanji character. When written vertically, it will be written to the right of the character. Here are a few examples from Japanese manga. Here in Bye Bye Sea Boy, we see the kana is written left to right horizontally, and above the kanji is furigana. Another example is yotsubato. Here we have the kana written from top to bottom vertically, and to the right is furigana. I would like to take a moment to recommend this manga to anyone who is learning Japanese, as it takes the viewpoint of a five year old who is also learning Japanese. And I have posted a link to where you can get a raw physical copy. In the info cards. By reading kanji with furigana and a good dictionary, over time you'll begin to remember the contextual meaning and readings of kanji if you keep being persistent in learning. Because learning with a space repetition flashcards is good, but completely useless if you don't put what you learn to good use. Now I can already hear you in the comment section. How can I read kanji when there is no furigana? Well, the answer to that question will be answered in a different video, which I will link when it is uploaded. In the meantime, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and become a bell ringer. Ja, matinee.